So, uh, today our class we will discuss uh, auxiliary views. Now, uh, all the type of drawings that we discussed until now are the major type used in engineering drawing. The major, most common types. The ones that I will discuss today and next class and the class after, uh, they are drawings used sometimes according to need. So, if you need, you use them. If you don't need them, you don't use them. So, it depends on what you are drawing, what is the need of this drawing, and whether you need to use these kind of uh, uh, type of drawings. So, auxiliary views are one of the drawings that are not always used. But sometimes, when we have uh, inclined planes, and we need to know the measurement exactly of this inclined plane, we use auxiliary view. So what is this basically? So when we have an inclined plane in an orthographic drawing, so this is the front, the top, the side view. If we have an inclined plane, at the top we see it what? This plane. What do we see from it? This here, the blue. What do we see? What is this measurement? It is from here to here. So if we take a line from here, a line from here, at the top, we see this space. At the side view, we see this line as what? From here to here. Okay? This here, we see it. So what is the problem? There is no problem with that. But sometimes, uh, okay, uh, this views when the, the plane is inclined, you can see them uh, not as a full, so not the full measurement, you see them foreshortened. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in some drawings, you need to see the full view. So an auxiliary view is made, okay? And the true size of this is shown. The true size, okay? Mm -hmm. Now. <coughs> Here again, another example. We have this, uh, for example, triangular shape. If you draw it from the top and from the side, you see not the full line uh, length, the measurement of the line, you don't see it fully. So an auxiliary view will show us the full measurement. Now, let's see here. An auxiliary view is what? An orthographic view. So it's, it's considered part of the orthographic drawing where you put the front, the side, the top. It's part of this drawing. But sometimes it's present, sometimes not. Uh, so it's an orthographic view which is projected onto any plane other than the main planes on which the other three or six views are projected. So there are main planes, which is the front here, the top, the side view, if we have bottom view, other side view, back view, okay, three views or six views. These are the major planes. But this view is projected, the uh, auxiliary view is projected on any other plane that is not part of the main planes. So it's not the vertical and not the horizontal, okay? So, it depends on where this inclination, this inclined surface is located. That's where you will take the 90 degree, basically line, so this here is 90 degree, 90 degree, and you project this surface as it is. It's true measurement. From here to here is exactly from here to here. It is to show this detail so that we don't see it foreshortened in the other views. The foreshortening, fine, okay, but sometimes we need to understand exactly how it looks like. So where, wherever the inclination is, we take straight lines at 90 degree and we draw it exactly as it is. So uh, if, the, uh, if the inclined plane is somewhere else, okay, like for example here, the auxiliary view will be over there. The important is it is not vertical and not horizontal. Okay, it's always uh, uh, at a inclination depending on this uh, surface or surfaces, okay? You could have more than one in a drone. So this is shown as it is so we can understand exactly its, its measurement. Sometimes this is needed 
especially if uh, the drawing is complicated with a lot of detail. Now, in this kind of easy drawing, normally we don't need, because, okay, if I want to know, I can easily imagine it's this shape, and I can imagine uh, and know exactly what is this measurement, even though here I see it as uh, foreshortened and here as foreshortened. But if it's a difficult drawing, we need to show this sometimes. Here is more example, like inclined planes. We have here an inclination, here an inclination. So if we want to show this exactly as it is, okay? So we have to draw straight lines at 90 degree to this plane and draw exactly with its measurements, as if we are looking at it from that way, okay? Exactly. Uh, so we still have our principal views. This here could be an isometric or a, another type of pictoria. And this is the auxiliary view to show exactly the measurement of, for example, this inclined surface. Now notice there is a circle. There is a circle where? Here, in this surface. There is a circle here, okay? But when you look at it from the top view, it looks like a, an egg shape. <laughs> That's normal, because we are looking at it from exactly from the top, so we don't see it as a full circle. Here also, we don't see it as a full circle, because we are looking at it in this way. But in the auxiliary view, it becomes the full circle as it is in reality, okay? And the size of these surfaces are placed as they are with their correct measurements. Here again, more example. Uh, so you can imagine, so front view, side view, top view, and the auxiliary view of this inclined surface. It's taken here and drawn exactly as it's... Uh, now, part of this surface will be seen here, part of this surface which will be, uh, again, foreshortened. But this auxiliary view, its main point is this surface, which is the inclined surface, to show it with the accurate measurements. <coughs> okay, now these views, the auxiliary views, it can show the whole object from this view, or it can be partial. Look, it can be partial. That means, uh, if I'm interested only in this surface, I don't have to draw all of the other, whatever part of the surfaces that I see. I can just draw this here, okay, and uh, just to show the measurement of this. So, it can be a partial view, like this. This is the same object, and uh, front, side, top, and then from here, the inclined surface, we took it, okay, here at 90 degree, to show the auxiliary view. Now this is full, okay? This is the full auxiliary view from this side. So we see this inclined surface here, and we see part of this surface and part of this surface, but they are not with their true measurements, okay? In this view, they are foreshortened, normal. Because if you take a line from here, a line from this corner, a line from this corner, and a line from this corner, okay? This and this will be shorter than the reality, okay? But this will be its true size. So, sometimes I don't need to draw all of this. A partial auxiliary view just of the inclined surface is enough sometimes, okay? If this is my intention, to show the inclination only, it's true measurement. So, auxiliary view can be full, okay? Taken, full, to draw the full object, or partial, just the part that you want to show. And the rest is out as always. So basically this is the new thing. Here, again, more examples. Like you start with an object. This is the front top side view. And then uh, how, because this object is uh, at an inclination, how to draw basically the uh, auxiliary view of this object to show it as, as its true size. Here is another example. This is what a full or a partial auxiliary view of this object. Partial or full? Full. It's a full because look, everything we took from this corner, this is this line. From this here point, this is this line, okay? From this point, here we see this line. From this point, we go here. So, in fact, I'm interested in this here area. So I could, if I want to draw a partial view, I could just draw this 
uh, partial uh, auxiliary view, just this area, and show its real size with the circle and so on. So I don't have to draw this or this, but it will become a partial auxiliary view. This here is a full, okay? This is correct and this is correct. Both of them are correct. Uh, so. Now, you have one exercise to do for, uh, for this, uh, for the auxiliary view. Now, this object here, it will be drawn scale one to one, meaning what you see here, measurements, this is in centimeter, you transfer uh, to the drawing as it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you need to draw first three orthographic views. So, the front, the top, and the right side. Okay, you will draw that, you will put the measurements, everything according to the rules. And then this inclined surface here, you will draw it as an auxiliary view. Now, you can draw it partial or full. It's up to you, okay? Both of them are correct. Both of them are correct. Uh, so, so first you need to start with what? The front. Number one, the front, which is from here. Then the top and the side view. And after that, you will take the 90 degree uh, from the corners and draw the auxiliary view of this uh, shape here to show its true size, as uh, in the examples. Now, this is for uh, auxiliary views. They're actually very simple when, if you understand uh, the idea. I will discuss something else today. We don't have a homework on this, but I will uh, cover it today. Detail views. Okay, so this is another uh, topic. Auxiliary views something, detail views something else. Sometimes in drawings, again, in orthographic drawings, we need to show detail views. So what are these? Okay. These are if you're drawing, for example, an object, and it has a lot of small details, which uh, are very difficult to put measurements on. Uh, they are not very clear because they are so small. Sometimes uh, a detailed view is drawn. So, for example, this area is the area that I want to show as detailed view. I make a circle around it. For example, this is detail number A. Okay, maybe I have detail number B and so on. So, this is the detail that I want to show blown up. Okay, so. I take a detail, I surround it with a circle, and here I draw the circle but bigger, bigger scale, okay. and I draw what is inside in bigger scale, so that it can be seen better. So if you have small details, you want to show them more clearly, you can uh, do this technique, and this circle, for example, will be marked detail A, so we know what you're talking about here, okay, and the scale because the scale here is different than the scale in the rest of the drawing. So maybe this is double the size, or, or triple, or four times the size, okay? Depending on how much you blow it up, you need to write the scale for it. Now, if I have a detail B, okay, then I will make it B, I will name it here detail B, and another circle, and so on. So these details are put on the orthographic drawing, uh, certain areas blown up, in a bigger scale to show more clearly what is going on in the drawing. Because sometimes the drawing, the actual orthographic can be very small. And when you have a lot of small details, they become a bit unclear. You cannot easily put measurements on them and so on, okay? Here, more examples. Here, for example, an object. This is here the detail we want to show. So this is detail B, for example, here, blown up the circle bigger, the detail drawn bigger inside. Here, this detail, okay, blown up the detail inside, whatever here, A, B, C, D, and so on, okay, and the scale is shown. Here, for example, this part of the object is too small, so this one is taken, blown up, and shown uh, as bigger. So it's very easy, the idea. So, uh, if you have uh, such a condition in the drawing and you have to show certain details more clearly, you do this, okay? 
So you, you surround it with a circle, you blow up the circle in a certain scale, and you draw whatever details need to be drawn inside. On the orthographic uh, drawing itself. Here is a, an example of an actual drawing. Here, front, talk, side view. And we have, where do we have detail here? Uh, ah, sorry, this is here the detail. So this is here the circle, and this is here, uh, basically this detail blown up. But they should have the circle around so that uh, one doesn't confuse it with uh, something else. Uh, here, it says detail A, okay, scale 1 to 4, for example. This is drawn. So this is a front and a top view only, and with a detail that is blown up. This you can place anywhere on the drone, as long as it is marked and uh, cre clearly shown uh, what it is. Uh, so, now here, uh, for detailed drawing, we don't have any homework, okay? Uh, we only have one paper to do for the auxiliary view, but still, uh, you need to understand this, because, uh, uh, like maybe in the exam, a question will come up, about detailed drawing or, you know, so you need to know what it is uh, to recognize it and uh, its basic rules, okay? So even though you don't have a homework, you still need to know about it, okay? Okay, so let me close this.